welcome back to Morning Coffee. We are in my kitchen today because I'm going to be talking all about my meal planning, grocery shopping, cooking routine, and I hope you enjoy it. If you like videos like this about how to be organized and productive and use the most of your time and focus on the things that are important to you, this is the perfect channel for you. I have a goal to add 1,000 subscribers to this channel here in 2020, and I so hope that you would consider being one of them. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Let's get ready to talk all about meal planning. I am sitting in the, in the, in the recliner, excuse me for being comfortable, and I am get, getting ready to kind of lay out the meals for the week. And so I just thought I'd kind of bring you into my process and what I do. So... For me, actually, it's just Trevor and I at home. We don't have any kids or dogs or pets or anything like that. And so our meal planning doesn't have to be super tight. Um, I tend to be more flexible with our meal plan, which means I'll write out a list of meals I want to make that week that we have everything for that I got from the grocery store. And so that's usually three to four, depending on how busy we are. And so I will just write those down at the beginning of the week on Sundays in my planner. And I know that those are the meals that I will be making that week. For us, I do not need to assign them to a day. That's a little too much for us. We don't necessarily need that. We like the freedom and flexibility of just being able to either pick what sounds good or pick what's quickest if I need to be fast or pick something that might last in the fridge. Um, a little bit longer if I need to make it and leave it for Trevor at the end of the day. So I, the flexibility of designing my meal plan that way works really well for us. So what I actually do is there is a space in my planner and it says weekly gratitude, but I put in those meals. So I write them down every week on Sunday, just so I can head into the week knowing that our meals are planned and laid out and ready to go. So that is how I set up the flexible meal planning system that we use. Let's talk about the hardest part of the meal planning process, which is coming up with recipes over and over again until you die. Here are some of the easiest ways that I get recipes. The first is I signed up for um, emails from Yumly. A couple times a week, I get this email from them, most popular recipes this week. And in my inbox, I get a whole bunch of recipes that are popular or seasonal or something that they want to promote sent right to my email. I don't have to look for them or seek them out. They are right here for me. You obviously can go to their website and search for recipes and stuff like that, but I love the ones that come to my inbox because I don't even have to do anything and recipes get put in there. My other favorite place to look for recipes is to follow at Emily Bites, oh, at Emily Bites blog, she is a food blogger. I find her recipes to be really good, simple, but still really delicious and innovative. And she always puts all the Weight Watchers points on them, which is super cool. So I follow her on Instagram. And again, she is posting recipes to my feed regularly. I don't have to seek them out or look for them. Every time I see one of her recipes that I like, I just save it and then I can go back to it. If you are looking for some more ideas, obviously Pinterest is a great place to get recipes. You can follow me here at Morning Coffee. I have tons of boards on my Pinterest and one of them is my recipe board. So if you want to get some recipe ideas from me, please feel free to follow me or follow this board. I will link them below so that you can see those. So those are essentially where I find my recipes. It's the easiest way to keep our like meals not boring, right? It's the best way to keep um, kind of a good rotation of recipes going through our house so we are not eating the same thing all the time. One of the things that I love to do is ration in or mix in some HelloFresh meals to my meal plan, especially right now where we are quarantined and at home all the time doing a lot of cooking. And it gets exhausting thinking of recipes, going to get all the ingredients, the it's not so fun. And so I won't do HelloFresh every single week because it certainly is more expensive because you're paying for the convenience of someone thinking of your recipes and doing your shopping for you. But every couple weeks, it's a really nice break. So I will order HelloFresh. We do the two people 
three nails um, plan and so I will rotate HelloFresh stuff in here. HelloFresh recipes are really good. Um, the only downside I would say is that um, there's usually never any leftovers for us. Um, so I just have to plan to make sure that I have plenty of like lunch stuff around the house in addition. Um, but it's one of the easiest ways that I can kind of supplement our recipe plans, our meal planning, um, make it a little more fun to eat at home and a little easier on myself, which is always important. My local supermarket actually does their own version of like a Hello Fresh meal kit, which is super awesome. It comes with the same pre-portioned ingredients, so you're only getting what you need. And they are about half the price of Hello Fresh because you do have to go to the grocery store and pick it up. But it's another great way to not have to think of recipes, not buy expensive ingredients that you can only use once. So once I have all of my recipes ready to go, I have this note board here that I keep on the fridge. And what I will do with this is write all of my recipes down on it. And then throughout the week, as I make those recipes, use those ingredients, I will cross them off. As you can see, some of them are full recipes, like my Italian wedding soup or skillet, that is a recipe. Some are just general ingredients, like tortellini and sauce. It reminds me that I have tortellini in the freezer and spaghetti sauce. Some are wings, and that would be something that I bought that's frozen that we can use several times. And then the others are just random ingredients to remind myself to use up. So I have stir-fry noodles, I have taco shells, I have salmon, and we have stew. We actually already ate stew this week. so. Once we eat something, I can cross it off of the list. This list system actually has been really helpful right now during the coronavirus because I don't know about you, but it's a little scary going to grocery stores right now. You don't know what ingredients they have. You don't know if they're going to have what you need, if they're going to be completely out of what you need. And you always are questioning, like, do I have enough food at home? And I think keeping a list together of all of the foods that we have and the meals that we can make it makes you feel a little bit better. Just gives you a little bit of peace of mind. A simple list of all of the things you could make with what's in your house right now is definitely a way to sort of calm your nerves if you have any uncertainties about grocery shopping and getting what you need in the grocery store these days. So grocery shopping. Um, I tend to try to like streamline my grocery shopping and go about once a week. I make my grocery list on my phone and so throughout the week as we start to run out of things or like I'll go reach for something we don't have it I put it on that grocery list and then I can just take my phone with me to the grocery store and do that so once a week for grocery shopping it's mostly like fresh stuff that you run out of so milk fruit lettuce veggies all that kind of stuff that just can't stay um, for a long time is what I tend to have to replace and so I will make sure that I have my recipes for the week picked out before I go grocery shopping so that obviously I know what I'm getting at the grocery store all in all I just try to avoid making tons of trips to the grocery store not only is it a time waste but it's also you know another opportunity to spend more money when you grab things that you don't really need so in general once to the grocery store a week to get all our stuff um, save myself time by avoiding those sometimes I will do grocery pickup right now during the coronavirus there isn't an option to do grocery pickup but I will do grocery pickup through Walmart and that is actually so convenient you save a ton of time by literally just pulling into the parking lot and having them bring your groceries out to your car so if you are looking for a way to make your whole grocery shopping meal planning meal prepping process simpler I highly recommend doing grocery pickup if that's something that is available in your area please consider it it is so much help so much help Okay, so let's talk about where I go grocery shopping. So I have a Costco membership, and so every four to six weeks, I will go to Costco. That is where I get toilet paper, paper towel, cereal, granola, peanut butter, those kinds of like staple-y things. If I'm there and I'm in need of some fresh produce, I will grab it from there, but most often it's kind of like those um, pantry style items that I will get from Costco. If I need health and beauty items, I will go to our local Walmart so I can get, you know, facial stuff, shampoo, 
conditioner, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. And then I will grocery shop there as well if I'm in need of both things. Otherwise, we do have a small grocery store in town, family owned, that I will go to. If I don't need anything health and beauty related, I can go there just for food. Um, they just don't have a good selection of like beauty style items. So those are the places that I shop and I don't shop them all in one week by any means. I pick one and go once a week and then I just go to one of those places depending on what I need. Um, I don't see the, the time savings in going uh, to multiple stores at once and if it, even if it saves a little bit of money I don't think the extra time worth traveling around to all of those things is really worth it for me personally so on any given week I will go to one of those places to get whatever I am in need of the last tip that I'm just going to throw in here is that because of my regular work schedule, I'm often working over the dinner hours. And so one of the things that I will do is I'll cook at random times. Like I will cook a dinner at 10 p.m. because it can last in the fridge overnight. And then when my husband gets home from work, he can pull it out and whip it up. Um, I will also make meals before I go to work. Like if I don't go in until the afternoon, I will absolutely make a meal at like 11 in the morning. So again, my husband can warm it up as soon as he gets home. That is just a good suggestion if maybe you have an irregular work schedule or dinner is really crazy. I'm just saying, hey, get creative. Cook at a normal time when you can, but if you can't, don't rule out other times of day either. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed me taking you around with me and showing you how I meal plan, meal prep, cook, and all of those things. Hopefully this has given you some inspiration and in how you can make this process a more simple one in your life, right? Like there is no reason that it should be super hard or super complicated, but believe me, coming up with recipes and getting to the grocery store and everything is a huge process and I know how time consuming it is. So your lives are hard enough, do everything you can to simplify it and make it easier. And I certainly hope that this video helped you do that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos just like this. I will be back for another video on Wednesday or Sunday so that you can learn more about how to pursue your own version of more and love the way that you feel while you do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.